In Jenkins, we can write pipelines in two ways. One is declarative syntax, which is the new style of writing Jenkins pipeline. And the other one is the old one, which we call as scripted pipelines. So now let us see the difference between these two. So as I said, that declarative one is the most recent type of syntax that we use to write the pipeline. And scripted one is based on DSL, which is domain specific language. And earlier when uh, Jenkins pipelines were introduced, the foundation was built on Groovy. So that's why it's scripted actually consists of this Groovy syntaxes. The next difference is that uh, Groovy is not preferred by all the developers. Uh, some use Python, some use Java. So that is why declarative one, which is having some defined set of directives is kind of more a favorite for those developers who are not into group. On the other hand, scripted ones give you a lot of flexibility because it comes with the power of that entire Groovy language. So that is why it is more powerful, you can say. One important thing to note here is that in declarative pipelines, we can have script blocks and in those script blocks, we can have all the scripted syntaxes. But in scripted pipelines, we cannot use declarative directives. Another difference is that uh, in declarative pipelines, there is a support of Blue Ocean, which is a very good uh, tool on top of Jenkins, which gives you a very wonderful interface. I'll be talking about that in uh, my coming videos. So I'll be showing you that entire interface. I'll be telling you how to use it. So that uh, plugin or uh, I would say that uh, Blue Ocean uh, interface, we will not be able to use with scripted pipelines. Another important difference between declarative and scripted is that in declarative, we have code validation support. Basically, if you have something wrong in the pipeline, it will be giving you error at the start of the execution. But in scripted, it is not the case. Unless you reach to that particular step, you will not be getting that error. Also, one more feature of declarative pipeline is that you can restart uh, the job from any particular stage. But in scripted, it does not support it. For conditional stuff, we have a directive no named as when uh, in the declarative syntax, but uh, in scripted pipelines, we only need to rely on if else conditions. And one more difference between these two is that in declarative, we have environment variables. And on the other hand, for scripted pipelines, we have the concept of global variables. And the last difference I have already spoken about that you can have script blocks inside your declarative pipelines but the reverse case is not possible. With this, I hope that the difference between declarative and scripted pipelines is clear to you. And in this course, we will be primarily talking about declarative syntaxes only.